How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros Ultimate DLC leak discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a leak that apparently comes from a leaker who has the same sources as both Vergaben and Sabi. However guys, as always and I cannot stress this enough, just because this leaker claims to have tons of credibility and sources on the same level as Vergaben, that does not mean that this leak is going to end up being true, so make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. If you guys would like to read along while I talk, you can find a link to the original post in the description right down below, and now with all that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, this leak was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server, so if you guys haven't already joined up, you can find a link to my Discord as well as links to all of my other social media presences, such as my Twitter and Patreon, in the description bar down below, as well as the pinned comment. Also guys, don't forget that we are currently doing a Nintendo eShop gift card giveaway over on my girlfriend's channel, Rebecca Lee, and all you guys gotta do to enter is subscribe to both my channel and hers, so I will leave a link to her channel in the description bar down below. And now guys, the leak that we are going to be taking a look at today comes from 4chan, and it is a text post leak, and with all of that out of the way guys, let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? So guys, like I said, this leak comes from 4chan, and it is titled, Smash Leak, and it is posted by Anonymous. It starts by saying, so, how did everybody enjoy Nintendo's E3 Direct? I am sure that most of you were probably excited to see Banjo and Kazooie join the battle, and I am equally as sure that most of you were probably a little disappointed to hear that Erdrick, aka the hero, is going to be joining as well. Personally, I don't really care for either of these characters, but we have some even bigger names coming to Smash Ultimate that make up for them for sure. So by now, I am sure you are all wondering who I am and how I have this information. Well, I have sources on the same level as Vergaben and Sabi. They have come out publicly and said it multiple times, but they are not the only people getting this information. Let me be a little bit more specific. The person I get this information from is on the same level as Vergaben and Sabi. From what I understand, there are multiple, I believe 5 or 6, people at the top who get their information from one guy who sends that information down to Vergaben, Sabi, and other people. They then send that info down and it gets spread to lots of other people. Not only that, but everyone in my secret discord knows all about all of the characters and I am sure some of you are reading this post now. Do not ask for entrance. It is a very small and it only has people we can trust in it. Anyways, I can confirm that there is going to be at least two more fighter passes. Rumor has it, one is going to be based on Echo Fighters, but that is not guaranteed. And if we do get an Echo Fighter pass, we will probably get another non-Echo Fighter pass later. For this Fighter's Pass though, we have some crazy final picks. First up, we have Sans. Yes, he is 100% going to be in. Originally, Sabi and Vergaben were not sure, but they will be talking about it soon. The stage will be the underground, and you will travel around a bunch of different Undertale sections on a riverboat. After that, we have Steve. Waluigi is currently heavily rumored to be the final character revealed, but he is just a placeholder for Steve. His stage will just be the overworld from Minecraft. Don't ask me for anything else, I will not respond. So now that we've gone over the entire post, let's talk about it a little bit. So guys, obviously the first thing that we have to go ahead and talk about is whether or not this leaker actually has some kind of credibility. Now, we have seen this type of thing happen numerous times. There's a person who says, hey, I have the same credibility as Vergaben or Sabi because I actually have access to all the same sources that they do. Now, right away, I'm not going to say that this guy is automatically discredited by saying this because it has been confirmed that, yeah, Vergaben and Sabi are not the only two people that actually get real information. I mean, if you look back at it, there was the guy who posted on Reddit before the final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct who claimed that Incineroar and Ken were going to be the final two Smash Ultimate characters revealed and that Piranha Plant was going to be the first DLC fighter, and what do you know, that came true. Since then, we haven't heard from that leaker at all, but he still has some kind of credibility, so I'm not going to say that this guy doesn't have credibility just because he doesn't offer anything up. 
Now, right away though, I will say that it does seem a little bit sketchy that this guy doesn't offer any kind of proof. Like with Vergaven, you know, he predicted the Ice Climbers, Snake, Ridley, you know, everyone is here. He predicted that, he predicted Kennen and Incineroar. So yeah, like, leakers like him actually have credibility. However, guys, with that being said, just remember to take this leaker's word with a grain of salt. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the characters that he claims are going to be joining the battle. So first of all, guys, the first character that we have to go ahead and talk about is Sans from Undertale. Now, if you guys didn't watch the video that I made a couple of days ago about the leaker who claimed that we were going to be getting an Undertale rep as well as Waluigi, I recommend you guys go ahead and watch that one because that guy correctly predicted everything that was going to happen in the Nintendo Direct, including Banjo-Kazooie's reveal trailer, the Heroes reveal trailer, and the Breath of the Wild 2 announcement. Now, alongside that, he was also able to predict exactly what was going to happen in each of their trailers and also each of the different character alts for the hero from Dragon Quest. So yes, that guy's credibility, however, there is a lot of debate over what he said about the Undertale rep. Now, what he said was that he was sure that we were going to be getting an Undertale rep, but he wasn't sure that it was going to end up being Sans. Now, obviously, when people think of Undertale, the first character that they think of is Sans. I mean, Sans at this point is basically the face of the franchise, and although we do have Frisk, who is the main character, it just seems like Sans would be a much better fit in the game. Now, another thing that I wanted to bring up is actually that Sakurai had mentioned at one point, and this may be just pure coincidence, but one of my followers on Twitter actually said that Sakurai has stated something about uh, saying that you were going to have a bad time or something like that, which is a catchphrase from Undertale. You know, that might not exactly predict anything or mean anything, but at the same time, it is extremely interesting to talk about. Now, another thing that definitely boosts Sans credibility of making it into the game is that Undertale is on the Nintendo Switch and Deltarune is as, as well. Like, these two games are on the Nintendo Switch. Now, one of the final things that I wanted to bring up is that, yes, Sans is an indie character, and as of now, we don't have any indie characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. A lot of people say that he's an indie character, and because he's an indie character, he just can't make it into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I mean, we don't have any indie characters in Smash, but guys, we have lots of indie spirits, and we even have an indie character as an assist trophy in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so why couldn't we end up getting a playable character? Just because we think we know the rules of which characters can make it into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, that doesn't mean that we do. I mean, Sakurai has stated before, like, that we have no idea which characters are coming next. He wants to keep surprising us, and I think that getting Sans from Undertale would be a huge surprise to everybody. And finally, apparently, the last character that is going to be revealed for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is Steve from Minecraft. Now, once again, this does go against what the person who leaked all the information about Banjo-Kazooie, the hero, and Breath of the Wild 2 said, because he claimed that Waluigi was going to be the character. Now, he said that he was 100% sure that Waluigi was going to be the character, so this is where things get a little bit iffy, because once again, he posted about all that information of Nintendo's E3 before the Direct actually happened, so this guy, once again, doesn't really have that much credibility, at least not yet, so I do still think that Waluigi has a better chance. Now, one of the theories that a lot of people have been talking about in terms of what he said is that Waluigi could actually just be a placeholder for a different character. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to end up happening because, once again, you guys know that I do believe that Waluigi has a very strong chance of making it into the game, especially because, could you even imagine Waluigi as a final character announcement? But I definitely do believe that Steve has a very good chance too. Now, yes, we already have a Minecraft character, or I'm sorry, a Microsoft character on the Fighter's Pass, but I still do believe that just because we got a Microsoft character, that doesn't mean we can't get another one on the Fighter's Pass. I mean... As of now, Nintendo and Microsoft have not talked at all about Xbox Game Pass or Xbox Live coming to the Nintendo Switch, even though it was leaked a while ago that that was going to end up happening. So could you guys even imagine if Nintendo and Microsoft held a press conference where they were like, here's Xbox Game Pass, here's Xbox Live on the Switch, and then we have one final announcement and Steve was announced as the final character on the Fighter's Pass? I mean, people would go absolutely insane for that, especially because it's something that not a lot of people are expecting. Not only that, guys, but you also have to remember that Steve is an incredibly iconic character, so seeing him in Super Smash Bros. alongside tons of other iconic video game characters just makes way too much sense. 
However, guys, with all of that being said, do I believe that this leak is real? Well, considering that the other leaker who actually predicted Banjo-Kazooie's reveal trailer and the Heroes reveal trailer was 100% right, especially when it comes to like Breath of the Wild 2 and everything else, I cannot say that I trust this guy's word over his. Yes, Waluigi may be a placeholder character because once again, he is an assist trophy in Smash Ultimate, but once again guys, there are no rules when it comes to adding in Super Smash Bros. characters, so I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up seeing Waluigi. However guys, with all of that being said, do I believe that this leak is real? Unfortunately, I do not. However guys, let me know your thoughts about this leak in the comment section down below. Do you guys believe that this leak is real, and would you be happy if it was? Why or why not? Thank you guys all so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.